do think that uh, it's worth noting that uh, to the extent I am deserving of uh, uh, this esteemed prize, either uh, now or in the future, uh, it will be largely because of her and the largeness of her heart. She grew up in the period when people were reading things and talking about things that, uh, you know, she'd, she'd read beat poets, Martin Luther King and Gandhi. You know, she was certainly a, a, a peacenik. She, she was totally, first and foremost, in love with Indonesia. She came here accidentally and she, she loved it the most when she worked in the field and she was in contact with the people, with the ordinary people. I think it was important to her that he had high ideals, pretty traditional ones, you know, honesty, that was maybe tops on the list, and working hard, and anyone who didn't work hard, you know, didn't deserve to get ahead. offered a very fine example to us of service. She was a pioneer in microfinance, so she uh, led the movement really uh, to open up rural credit programs all over the world. She helped women and children gain some power in very often patriarchal society. She was studying how the village industries were actually still economically viable and important wasn't inevitable that they would be replaced by factory-made goods. Orang besar, a uh, great, great woman, great lady. She has a very big heart, yeah. I think there's a kind of same concern, same sincerity for the common people, for justice. That Anne and uh, her son has a similar, similarity. She is very honest. My daughters, I see her every day. Her joy, her capacity for wonder. I won't try to describe how deeply I mourn her passing still. I know that she was the kindest, the most generous spirit I have ever known, and that what is best in me, I owe to her.